Yo, what's up guys? It's Killog for the win. <clears throat> Bringing you guys another Clash of Clans gameplay and commentary. Sorry if my throat gets a little raspy uh, in today or yesterday's video. Uh, basically, I'm just congested, but what else is new? Anyways, uh, I got some more Lava Loonian raids for you guys. And today to start off, we're going to be going in from this right side angle. Uh, just going for the air defense, you know, maybe make a shot for that expo. I don't know. Also, there was that archer tower there. So we managed to get that and bang. Do we get the, do we get the, do we get the freaking expo? No, it's so one shot. God, that's, in, that's super unfortunate. So we did get 18% though. As you can tell, this guy had a lot of buildings outside of his base. Pretty easy to get to. So we're going to go ahead and go in from this left side angle now. And I wanted to get that air defense as well. Let's see if the balloons go over there. They're kind of going there. A couple of the guys are going there. Yes, they did get that air defense. There's a Tesla Inferno there. Pretty pretty much in the way as well. But we're going to try to avoid that stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and go in from the top angle. We have no more rage, no more freeze spells, nothing to really help a whole lot on this one. Uh, so we're going to, I think I dropped like four balloons to that archer tower and it still can't take it out because that air defense just does so much damage and it was just right there in the way so yeah we have up to 29 percent i'm going to look at the left side see what's going on over there uh 30 percent now let's see let's see they can take out a couple more buildings there okay we're going to go ahead and drop some more balloons on these on this archer tower and air defense over here on the top top side of the base now we can go ahead and drop some minions while they are, uh, the, def the defenses are being distracted. And hopefully they can take out a bunch of stuff. we got 39% now. Also, we have these builder huts that are pretty weak. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my king and queen there. Hopefully they can get this last 9% to clutch out this raid for me. Uh, let's just wait and see. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Barb King's ability. Uh, the ability is pretty strong now at level 20. I really like it. It's really nice at level 20. Finally got the level 20 king. And the queen is going to clutch it out here. I'm going to go ahead and use her ability. I like to use the ability uh, whenever a mortar is not about to hit her because the extra archers help out just a little bit. Uh, there I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of elixir. Not much, but we do win the battle and we do get eight trophies on this one. So we're now up to 3,033 trophies. Going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next raid. Here, as you can see, this guy has up to 30 trophies available. So we're going to go ahead and come in from the top angle. I drop my clan castle troops. I drop a bunch of balloons. Uh, one thing about this guy's base was he had two air defense and four archer towers at the top. Also, he had, uh, he had, what did he have? He had, uh, oh my god, that dark elixir just got smashed by those balloons. That was really crazy. The splash damage from the balloons actually managed to completely sabotage that Dark Elixir. So that's what I was kind of going for there. This guy had over 5,000 Dark Elixir on this raid. So now we're going to go and go in from this left angle. You'll notice that some buildings are outside A and B. The Archer Towers aren't too far in the way. So we're going to drop some minions to take care of these buildings on the outside. See how much work they can actually do before they actually start getting harmed by these defenses. As you can tell, they're pretty much out of range, the ones that I have dropped. So now we're going to go ahead and start focusing on the bottom and the bottom right of this guy's base. Uh, one problem is, a major issue is he has that expo there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to destroy that. Uh, once I get that taken out, there's a whole bunch of extra buildings and percentage that I'll be free to go ahead and take out. So now I got that expo taken out. The only thing I need to worry about now is that archer tower. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these barracks. They have low health. They're out the way. Easy percentage right there. Uh, basically, right now we have 34%. And we're on a really good track to go ahead and get 50% on this guy's base. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is drop the Lava Hound on that air defense. Uh, I don't have any spells to use with it, but it will tank a bunch, as you can tell. It, uh, it's going to enable my balloons to take out that air defense really easily, and also that archer tower. Now my other guys can go ahead and do a bit more work, and hopefully get the rest of that dark elixir. I noticed there was 710 left, and it must be in that drill in the top left of this guy's base. So we have 49%, okay, um... Uh, we just need one building. There's still a bunch of Dark Elixir on the table. Do I go for the Dark Elixir or do I just take out a random building? Looks like my guy managed to take out the rest of that builder's hut's health. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, focus on this Dark Elixir. Uh, what is it? 
pump, drill, drill. That's what it's called. Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to drop my heroes on that. They go ahead and take that out. And now this guy has zero dark elixir. I zeroed him out on that. I got over 5,600. And I got 5,689 plus the loot bonus. So I got over 6,000 dark elixir on this raid. Pretty freaking insane if you ask me. Definitely farmed a bunch of DE off of that guy. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the next raid. This guy has 32 trophies available. Unfortunately, Supercell doesn't like to round it off or anything. I can only get up to 10 trophies on this guy, but still a solid amount for the Lava Loonian setup. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and freeze that... Uh, Freeze that air defense by my balloon some time. Unfortunately, none of them went inside and went for that air defense. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and focus on these buildings on the outside, see how much percentage we can get off of them, and also pull out this guy's clan castle troops and try to take them out. So he had, what, three level six wizards and a couple archers. I think that's all that he really had in there. So I think I'm going to lightning spell them. But I'm just going to double check to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and start attacking from the other side of this guy's base. I noticed he had some free buildings to take out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and attack those. And then we're going to go in with some balloons for these arch towers. So I was right. There was more clan castle troops. I'm glad I did not waste the lightning spell on those other ones. Uh, so no, those freaking balloons don't destroy anything, man. They don't... God, the balloons aggravate me so badly sometimes. I don't know if it's just me. If I'm just not used to them. I haven't mastered the balloons quite yet. But they're so frustrating at times when they don't do what you want them to do. So we're going to go ahead and drop some more balloons here. I'm hoping that they would drop the splash damage and take out those clan castle troops. They did do that, but also I did drop uh, a lightning spell on them just to make sure that I got all of them taken out. Because the witches can be a bit of a nuisance uh, against, you know... When you're when they're on defense for the clean castle, okay. So now we're going to focus on this right side. You notice this guy really had poor placement of his archer towers for the most part. Uh, there's nothing but a wizard tower in the way there, and you got builders huts and barracks outside. That's pretty much a no go for me. Uh, but definitely a green light for an attack. So yeah, I got a, fr a bunch of free percentage on that. Now we can go ahead and focus on the top. There's a few more buildings on the outside. I'm pretty much good to go ahead and drop my heroes and finish up on 50%ing this guy. There's really nothing in the way. Uh, no no heroes, no more clan castle troops, nothing like that. Just a couple of skeletons that you'll see come out from that witch, but not that many, so it's not a big deal. Now we got up to 47%. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Barb King's ability. Help him take out those skeletons, give him some health back. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and use the Queen's ability as well. Get, get up to 50% on this battle. Easy win. 10 trophies, no loot besides the loot bonus, but I don't care because I'll take the 10 trophies. Now we're up to 3,046 trophies, making our way up to champs. So we're 154 trophies off. We're going to go ahead and go in on this guy. He only has six trophies available, but I thought that I could farm this guy. I think A or B, uh, what it was is he had a little bit of a weaker base. Uh, surprisingly, he did not have a max out base. I don't know why you'd have a bunch of level nine walls, but not have max archer towers, Teslas, or air defense. I don't really get that. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and attack this guy. It was only six trophies, like I say, but it, I think it was a pretty easy attack. So as you can see, two balloons there for that archer tower. Take it out pretty easily. And then just try to lure out the, the rest of the clan castle is what I'm going for right there. So now that I've got the rest of the clan castle troops out, I'm going to go ahead... Well, first I'm going to go ahead and take out this archer tower because it's just right there and I figured I could get it pretty easy. So yeah, now that we got that, I'm going to go ahead and drop a uh, minion on the bottom. Now there's nothing to take out my minions other than these clan castle troops. So I can go ahead and get them all together clumped up so I can drop hopefully one lightning spell on them and take them all out. Somebody actually gave me a tip. If you drop the lightning spell a little bit to the left of the troops, it will take out the wizards with one shot. Right there, I failed to do that. That was before I was aware of that. But if you drop it just a little bit to the left, just a little bit, just a smudge to the left, then it will one shot the wizards. You know, the splash damage will come back around and uh, manage to take out the wizards. So, yeah, that's just a little tip in case you guys didn't know. Uh, you can one shot. I think you can one shot the witches and the wizards. Uh, at max level with a level 5 lightning spell. You don't even need the, the level 6 lightning spell. So now I'm really happy that I did not upgrade my lightning spell to level 6. Uh, I got the free spell to level 5 instead. And it's still not done. It's almost done, but it's getting there. Anyways, 
anyways, anyways, anyways. Okay, so now we got up to 21%. Gonna go ahead and start going for some more of these outskirt buildings that my guys couldn't really get to before because those clan castle troops were in the way. Now, one thing that I noticed is on the top of this guy's base, he really only has one archer tower that's going to be really in the way here. Uh, it really didn't make any sense to me, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm going to gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. Also, you can see my balloons are doing work there on the top. I dropped my clan castle balloons, and they're going ham. So we're up to 46 47%. Absolutely an easy win. Easy six trophies on this guy. Unfortunately, I didn't get too much of the loot. I didn't really get a chance to go for that dark elixir or too much of this gold or uh, regular elixir. But right now, my guys are making their way in. And I'm hoping that my queen will be able to take out one to two of these gold storages. Oh, I went ahead and used her ability. I didn't realize I was out of time. Uh, the time ran out. So we only got six trophies on that one. Got a little bit of elixir before the loot bonus. So not too bad. Keeping me on the board here. Uh, keeping me pushing, you know, enough elixir to push. So that's always good. So now I'm going for another guy's base that has a lot of buildings that are just out of the way of these air defenses. So, yeah, one thing you can tell is that this arch tower is definitely in the way. So we're going to go ahead and go for that. Hopefully I can take it out with just two balloons. One thing that I didn't really notice was that that, uh, that freaking... Freaking air defense was right there in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and come back in with three balloons this time instead of two. Hopefully that will do the job. Uh, yes, indeed it does. The Inferno was also in the way a little bit as well, but no biggie. Anyways, now we're going to go ahead and start coming in from the bottom of this guy's base. One thing that's a major problem is his Archer Queen is really in the way. So I'm going to make sure that I drop my Lava Hound. Uh, I'm going to be really meticulous as to where I drop this. So yeah, we're going to drop the Lava Hound and spam a bunch of loons in there. We're also going to Rage Spell them. And probably, let's see if I drop the Freeze Spell. No, I don't I don't think I use the Freeze Spell on this raid. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the commentary for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Let's try to go for 500 likes on this video. I haven't got 500 likes in a while. Uh, I think I'm averaging like two to 300 right now, which is really great. But let's shoot for 500 on this video. Anyways, uh... Yeah, pretty much that's it. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Leave a like and enjoy the song. The song is called Well Known. I'm just playing g Easy's part because that's only really the part of the song that I like. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. Have a wonderful evening. And it's Killer Look for the win. Signing out. Peace. I'm just trying to get my fun in While I'm young and going hard And the shit I say is stunning I bust in your face Just to let you know I'm coming And I'm balling in the golden state I think I'm Chris Mullen Been hearing disrespect from all these children That I'm sunning Who I've been putting work And then you ain't been putting none in So thinking hating on me Might just get you something Are you dumb and you just wanna start Some shit up off of nothing Look, I don't get it You haters are pathetic See another man's success Shit only hurts you if you let it I know you like my Style in my image and aesthetic How I put my plans in motion, that's kinetic You get it? Look Hating on me, bro, that shit will get you nowhere Your bitch checked into my show on her four square They like how we get them hoes, though it's no fair But hard work is paying big and we don't need to go there I'm getting business more, homie, fuck you tripping for it's so profound, hit the stage, they go well. You rappers get ignored, me, I'm who they checking for.